Hello everyone, uh, welcome. Uh, this is another tutorial for Aspen HiSys and in this tutorial I am going to talk uh, very briefly about one of the nicest features of Aspen HiSys which is um, case study or you may call it parametric study. And you probably know what parametric study is. It is basically to run a simulation um, based on a set or a range of uh, parameter. Uh, which can be for example pressure or temperature or mass flow or really basically anything so you run a simulation by varying um, for example temperature for a range for example from 0 to 100 um, in this tutorial for example I am going to calculate or plot or to find out the boiling line for a single component um, here, for example, you're seeing a, a phase diagram of water, but uh, in our problem, I'm going to run this simulation for C4. Uh, but here you can see uh, the boiling line, uh, the line at which uh, um, at a certain pressure or temperature, the first uh, bubbles starts to appear from the liquid. So on the left side, you have water. On the left side of the boiling line, you have water. And on the right side, you have gas. And of course, you have your triple point and also the critical point, which you cannot distinguish between the phases. So what I'm going to do is to really plot the boiling point from uh, the normal boiling temperature, which is at one atmosphere, all the way to critical point. For that, let's get very quickly to Aspen Isis and uh, I just start something from scratch. So from component list, I am going to add C4 or IC4, Ibutane. And if you click on that, double click on that, you can see some of the critical properties. So like the normal boiling temperature uh, pressure is, I mean, temperature is minus 11.73 temperature uh, centigrade. And the critical properties are 134 and uh, 36.48 bar pressure so let's just memorize these numbers especially this minus 11 and 134 because I'm going to use them later in my case study or parametric study uh, let's close this choose the fluid package I am going to choose Peng Robinson or you can use uh, SRK there is no worry and then you just go to simulation in the next step uh, you drag and drop this material stream you double click on that first thing first you go to composition and uh, since this is a single component thing you put mold fraction of 100 percent or one you click ok and then you go back to conditions to calculate the phase fraction, I mean the boiling temp, uh, the boiling line. If you remember from other uh, previous tutorials, you have to put the phase fraction of vapor to zero, right? This is uh, the point at which uh, the vapor uh, starts to appear. So the vapor phase fraction is actually zero. The stream name I would call it um, C four, and then. Uh, for, to find out uh, the normal boiling uh, temperature, you have to select, for example, one atmosphere because uh, by definition, the normal boiling temperature is at one atmosphere. And you can see that this is minus 11. That's what we found out uh, in the critical properties. Uh, so what I want to do is to run a case study, to run a parametric study by changing and varying the temperature. So my temperature is going to be my independent variable that I'm going to vary it and then my pressure is going to be dependent on the temperature so here you can see that pressure is fixed so I mean temperature is fixed really you cannot change it uh, if you want to run the case study and then uh, to make it changeable you have to make it blue really and then you have to delete uh, the things and then just put it a number so this is your um, boiling uh, temperature and pressure at 10 degrees, uh, which is 2.19 bar. Um, let's get very quickly to case study. I can just click on this and close it. 
So on the left side, you can see there is something called case studies. If you double click on that, and then you just add one case study. As I said, my independent variable now is temperature, right? So I click on find variables. First, I have to select my object, which is C4, and then you type temperature and you select it. And then my dependent variable is pressure. The pressure is going to be dependent on temperature and you are going to run the simulation for a range of temperature to find out the phase fraction of zero, which is my boiling line. So find variable again, choose your object, then search for pressure. That is also selected. All right, the next thing is to actually set up your case study. So the current value is 10, but uh, as I said, I want to find my boiling line from uh, the normal boiling point, which was minus 11 point something, but let's just put minus 10, uh, all the way to the critical point, which was uh, 136, right? But uh, for simplicity, I just put 130. And then you can either specify your step size or the number of steps. I would like to choose a step size of one. Then you have 141 steps, all right? Once the setup is finished, you can just click on run. Then you can see that uh, the simulation is successfully run. And then the last part, you can see the, the results. Either you can see it in a form of table or you can see it in a form of uh, plot. So this is basically my boiling line. Uh, from the temperature of minus 10 all the way to 130. Uh, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this simple tutorial. Uh, case study is a very useful thing. You can use it in many, many ways. Um, until next time, see you.